All right, so today we're gonna to start to build this project. We may not uh, build it in its entirety, we'll see. But it's a basic paint program built in Java. You see you can paint with a brush of either a circle or a square shape. Um, and it has this little hover function. Um, you can change the color with a slider. Uh, one of the more advanced things it does is it has a transparency adjustment so that you can paint uh, with kind of more of an airbrush. Um, we may or may not get to how to do that and I might leave it as a challenge. We'll see how far these tutorials go. But today we're going to start to build, uh, this first video is just going to be to build the basic, um, this frame, which is a separate frame that controls the attributes of the brush. So let's get right into it. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is to create a new uh, project, so a new Java project, and we'll just call this Java Paint. And in our Java Paint project, we want to create a package called main into which we're going to store our class or put our classes. We'll just create a class called runner. And in this class, it's going to be very basic. All we're going to do is to have public static void main string args. And all we're going to do in this class is create a new Java paint object. Uh, not Java with all cats, Java paint object. And that's the class we have to create right now. So let's go in the main and create another class this one obviously called Java Paint. And this is going to be uh, the main paint program. It's going to be the only class that we really do anything to. So right off the bat we want to create some fields. And Now I told you we're just going to create the sliders, the panel, and the frame for the brushes thing, that pan the frame on the left hand side. So we're going to create a private J frame called uh, we're going to call this frame one because there are going to be two of them. And then we're going to create a private panel on which we want to hang our buttons, our J panel, excuse me, uh, called panel one. And we want to create some J sliders. So we'll have a blue slider, red slider, and a green slider and we have to import these things so instead of importing them one at a time I'm just going to do import java x dot swing dot the whole thing I want all the libraries dot asterisk and j slider not j sliders um, now we'll just create a constructor for our class uh, yep, public java paint the constructor again just has the same name as the class itself and we're going to have a method called init um, panel one or uh, init I don't know, brushes panel let's call it and we haven't made that yet and that's just the initialize and then we'll have uh, set attributes brushes or set brush attributes. Let's do that. Set brush attributes. And we haven't done either of those things so let's create them right now. Uh, this will be a public method. It doesn't have any return so it's an avoid init brushes panel. And then we need to do public void set brush attributes. And so let's initialize our fields here. We're just going to initialize the J. Uh, let's start with the sliders. So blue slider uh, dot. Uh, oh, yeah, right. I'm sorry. We're just initializing blue slider blue slider equals new j slider and we're going to have this one be from again 0 to 255 which is the range of 
blue values in the color, red slider equals new J slider from 0 to 255 and green slider equals new J slider and this will also go from 0 to 255. Uh, now we are going to initialize the panel. Panel 1 equals new J panel and J frame oops uh, frame 1 equals new J frame. So we have initialized all of our fields at this point and now we need to define some of their attributes. So we're going to say, let's do the sliders first. Blue slider uh, dot set major tick spacing. And we're just, these are set to 50, which is a good starting value. Green slide, oh, we'll do all the blue slider values, I'm sorry. Uh, blue slider dot set value. And we'll start it at 50. Uh, sure, no, we'll start it at like 100. And um, blue slider dot set paint ticks true. Blue slider dot set. Uh, paint labels true and there's one other thing that we haven't done in the past we're actually going to blue slider add a border to this so if you noticed um, the uh, example uh, has a border and so we're going to use this set border method and you there are some uh, there's this class called border factory that you don't know about until somebody tells you about it so I'm telling you about it now where they can be used to create different borders and we'll just use a title border and this is we're gonna give it a title of blue and then uh, we're going to do the same exact thing more or less for the red slider and the green slider so rather than blue slider, I'm going to type red here and green here. And then I'm going to just copy and paste those values uh, to save us time. And we'll copy red slider. Click, click, paste, click, click, paste, click, 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 paste. And we're going to change these titles to red and green and then we need to add those to the panel so uh, the oh, panel one dot add uh, blue slider panel one dot add red slider panel one dot add green slider uh, and then let's set the attributes for the frame. So we'll have uh, frame one dot set default close operation J frame dot exit on close frame one dot set size. I think I had this to um, 200 wide by 600 tall. You can play with that if you'd like. Frame one dot uh, set resizable false frame one dot add oops not window listener pant one frame one dot let's see if I'm getting all this stuff as I'm going fast here uh, dot set visible true and then let's see if we run this program if it does what I'm hoping it'll do oh again that's the wrong runner uh, okay so we have this one let's do it and there are our three sliders initially set to a value of 100 each 
perfect and that's the end of this initial tutorial